Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is another track from scratch. I honestly don't remember what number it is. I never remember what number it is whenever I keep coming back and be like, I'm going to do tracks from scratch again. Who knows? Uh, people who are watching this live, because this is being streamed live right now, um, I'm going to try doing this for Mondays and Thursdays. Haven't quite nailed down a time yet. I just want I want to be a more available time. I'll figure it out when I look at the data. But point is, is that uh, this is being streamed. The people who just saw me streamed already heard me say all this, but I won't do it again. The new format for Tracks from Scratch are that I'm going to be doing one of these sessions. Um, I don't know how long they're going to be. Today it'll be like an hour-ish in length, and then in the future it could be like three hours. Who the hell knows? Like, I'm just going to kind of wing it in terms of timing timing and time-wise. But the idea is at the end of every one of those sessions, everything I do, every project and in, in, in the project that I make will be available for you to access. And I'm going to do ye old pay what you want. And does that remind you of anything? Do you guys remember that when I used to sell pay what you want project at Black Octopus Sound? Well, as it turns out, this is brought to you by Black Octopus Sound. Black Octopus Sound. Uh, I was talking to Toby Emerson, and he's the person who gave me my first uh, sound design gig, just in case you didn't know that. Cool stuff. And uh, he allowed me to use pretty much whatever sound pack I wanted in, in the production of this series. And in return, I'm also going to have my projects uh, for sale up on his platform. It's good stuff all around. This is this is a good example of decent networking. This is why I keep talking about business and networking at once, because it's how you do this stuff, right? See how that works? It's really good stuff. Anyway, what we're looking at right now is actually my whole actual template. I have a template now. Um, I didn't used to have a template. Oh, hold on. Let me get my chat back. Hello, chat. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what this, what this whole new, um, what this whole new, uh, what am I trying to talk about? Template, the template, this whole new template is, uh, basically like, this is all my hardware outputs here, inputs and outputs. You can see my voice coming up in there because the way I have it routed out right now is, um, that it's actually also doing that. Although now that I think about it, this isn't going anywhere because my other computer is the one that's capturing my audio output from out of the RME over here. But you can still see that's what's in there. And so the idea is that, like, if whenever I need my audio inputs and outputs, it's over there. But I docked it so that I don't have to have it look in there. I don't have to see it. Same thing over here with I have a duck and a sub channel because it's pretty much the only two things I ever have that's consistent about any track I make. Um, I also put just a divider in between 30. Usually I used, I used to put my ducking channel, like, at, like, 19 and split things at 20. The whole idea is that drums go over here. Everything else goes over here. And now I just put – I just make it unofficial, Right. In my duck channel, I have uh, limiters. I'm using limiters to do the gain thing here. But what's happening in the sequencer, I have uh, I have these um, envelope controllers set up to just already have the duck ready to go as something that I can trigger in the sequencer. So that when I put drums in, all I got to do is put corresponding MIDI and it will already be triggering the correct setup ducking. Uh, the sub also set up to be uh, the citrus. The sub is also set up to take input from these two different MIDI sources just in case... I'm not doing anything complicated with the MIDI of whatever I'm doing that I want to replace the sub with. I can just send that MIDI to this thing to trigger the sub so that it's my separate sub is already in line. I don't have to worry about copying MIDI over. And I can make changes and have it also be changed. Um, well, what the heck else? Uh, oh, yeah. So that sub is going up into um, here. It's being ducked. And it's got its own duck. Um, both of these guys actually trigger both of those. You see there's three of these that are already set up to have this kind of basic duck kind of going already. Duck, 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 goose. But this third one that's grayed out is already linked to the Maximus Master. And it's linked to the release time on the Master. Because what I tend to want to do, if I plan ahead enough for it, is to automate the release time of the Master and typically to do so against kick and snare things. Um, and you'll see why later when we get to that point. And because that's apparently a thing I do enough that that's something that I ended up having to templatify. Anyway, I just wanted to walk you through that before we actually started doing stuff. Let's actually start doing stuff. And today, I think I stuff the stuff I think we're gonna try and do right now is gonna be me some straight up. I was just gonna say straight up dubstep, but you know, let's do something. I've been tooling around with a bunch of drum and bass lately. I'm not so sure I want to keep doing that. Although it's not like y'all have heard anything I've been doing lately, so it's, it's all fresh to you, right? If I if I keep up stuff, what does the chat think? Hello, chat. Okay, there's dubstep. One for dubstep. Two for dubstep. Neuro dubstep. I'm, I can I, sure. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I'm trying to think of what neuro dubstep would be. I guess it's just like I I know that it is a thing, and I know that I can already kind of picture what that is. But like I'm listening to it, and it's kind of like what art what dubstep already sounds like to me. So I guess it's just what the, I guess what I mean is I always like just neuro neuro dubstep. Uh, disco yeah pokemon go oh you know man come on the pokemon animated shows theme song was like the most just 
pumping thing ever. Come on. It was brilliant. Narrow dub step. Something new and different. Something new and different. I was just thinking about some junk to do with my guitars. Adult contemporary death grind. That was that's a nice one. A melodic dubstep. Um hmm. Metal step. Melodic dubstep with the guitars. You know, I could do that. You know, we could do you know, usually when I think about guitars, I try to I try to angle in like the rhythm like metal stuff, but if I if I focus primarily as like a background lead experiment and keep everything else steppy. That shouldn't be that shouldn't be that that shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, pretty much melodic dubstep with some guitars. Somehow we'll find out how to how to um. Every synth is based on a recording of the guitar. That's not that. I mean, the guitar's the guitar's harmonic structure is almost a saw anyway. So that's not. I wouldn't really be that. Thick step. If I say D and B repeatedly, will you consider it? Maybe if you can out chat everyone else. Isn't that how chat works? Isn't that how how chat voting happens? All right. Um, to that end, I guess let's start. So if I'm going to do that, though. No, I guess I don't need to care about mellow drums because that that that's a textual thing that only really matters if I'm going to do the rhythm guitar. If I'm not doing that, then I don't have to care. Let's see. I like Wicked Hits. The original Wicked Hits was great. And they're all pretty. Oh, so other benefit of having moved my computers in the other room back there is that that's a triple thick wall. There's a noise gate on this. It's very light, though, and that's because it's very quiet in here, which means I'm compressing the crap out of my voice, and it's working. How cool is that? Ooh, I like that one. So when I listen to stuff, I'm not sure this is totally clear all the time, but like when I'm listening to stuff, I'm, I'm trying to hear a, like a, a theoretical context to hear it in. I'm not just like listening for something to try and like be like, ooh, that sounds good for something that's about it individually. I'm trying to hear a context in it. And the island was pretty good. Ooh, these two are going to go good. Uh, mystical Indian percussion. Good old Leviathan. I already had Leviathan too. Uh, I just need some hats. Those are like, oh, those are those are really brutal hats. Damn, like I can hear that. Oof. They're all 808s. Like I can, I a lot of drum and bass just got explained to me. I, I'm aware this is the dubstep one, but like, I it sounds like the really like thick hat kind of processing. And of course, there's these. These all like have crazy meat to them. Like that one though. Ooh, that's kind of a. Ghost snares. I've already I've already messed with a lot of this and in some various contexts and like I, I like I like these packs. I picked most of them like from a list. Uh, let's just go to the buy thing because like they have every kind of. Every kind of like the kind of hat I like, and it's it's telling because like um, um, before when I did bass antics, when, when I made that track originally, those drum samples were not NFL like the uh, regular old these guys. Like they they're called Groove the G R V kick because they're from a plugin called the Groove Machine, and they were made for that plugin, and they were not originally NFL. And I was using the machine just for those samples, and um. And then for like the safe processing, they just put the samples in FL, and because they were good samples. Oof. Well, free lessons ever come back. Yes and no. No, in the way that I'm not gonna do that like that. Yes, I'm gonna do viewer track reviews. I'm just gonna bring back viewer track reviews. I'm not even gonna try to monetize them. I'm not gonna try to do anything with them. I'm just gonna let them be. I'm gonna completely lose them in the world. 
And uh, <clears throat> because that's what the free lessons were. They were just viewer track reviews forever. And I'm fine with that. You know, I'm fine doing that. So um, I'm just going to do that again. And it'll be how I replace uh, cheap lessons. That should be enough hat stuff, right? Control shift L. See, if I want to be really hardcore, I'd have already had sample channels set up that were like layered with this so that like I wouldn't have to like put new MIDI. I could just like write it. But I don't want to be that hardcore. Oof. God. So I do that. I just want to. <laughs> so the the primary problem with the track someone in the comment just said like I should stream it to check it for copyright first and then and then try to put it on YouTube. I'm like, it's not really about avoiding current copyright problems. It's that I'm reviewing tracks that are often unreleased or like in progress. And then when someone goes to sign them to something like Route Note or any of those like automatic distribution uploading labels that are really just labels that don't have any kind of human interaction, they retroactively um uh, try to attack me for copyright because it's the song. It's just the song I have in the video now. And it's just because the people who own those songs don't think ahead and don't realize that I'm going to get caught up in that when that happens. <coughs> you hear that? Hey, it's George. What's up, George? That wasn't really what I meant to do, but it sounds pretty okay. Someone asked, how do I like FL20? And I like it a lot. Did I cut my hair? No. Well, I mean, yes, since the last time, I guess. I mean, this is still kind of long, but a while ago, I, did, I cut it. And, you know, it's getting there. I cut my beard. I had to, I had to deal with that. Hey, it's SH. What's up, SH? what I should be doing. Making a reverb for the drums. You know, I like a lot of those exterior ones, but they're just not very, like, they could have done, they could have dealt with some compression. Did I put that on the master? No, jeez. No. For some reason, I thought I put that delay on the master, because, like, every one of those had that exact, like, timed delay to it. I don't know. Really, what I want is a uh, corridor. Kind of like you. I feel like I'm doing sound design for Silent Hill.
And so normally I would compress this crap together, but these samples are like exactly the right kind of tight. That I don't want really to screw with their dynamic range too much, which means I'm going to need to actually use actual sidechain to accomplish some of the effects I want. Which one of you has the low end? That's you. I need its impulse. Indeed. For those who are just joining us, uh, these most of these samples are from uh, a pack, like the kick and the snare, from a pack called Wicked Drum Hits 2 for Black Octopus Sound. This is from... Um, crap, I already forget what the hell pack that's from, but it's from another Black Octopus pack, and then the rest of for Leviathan. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So... Also different about this stream than in the past is that my levels coming down, like my voice versus the song, are a lot more in line. I usually let the song go out like as, as high as it'll want to go, zero dB all the way up, because like in my mind, I want that's what I want to have in the YouTube, you know, in the availability. But it's never that good anyway up there. So if, if we're gonna do it like this, our, my voice and whatnot have to be uh, together. <clears throat> uh, L two, these are Leviathan two. Call this hats. Call this hats verb. Cool. This is just kind of a pile of stuff I want to have for texture to work off of. What the hell snap, man? Oh boy. So like the most favorite thing I love about the current like FL version is this freaking like multiple arrangement thing. This is gonna solve every problem I've ever had about like too much clutter. Like about sound design crap like that. It's gonna be great. Okay, so before doing anything, I gotta remember to put a uh, kick, kick. Ah, I don't remember putting two of these there, but that was probably why that felt weird. Snare, snare. And then um, I wanna actually move the sub out of here just to make it visually better when I add more things. Oh, the PDC is so much better now. Like, the, how, listen to how tight that is. I didn't have to try to make that like aligned like that anymore. It just happens. Like, ugh, yay. I just want to make sure real quick that I'm actually recording. Pretty sure I am. See, not levels is good. I don't want to bonehead myself out of this. Although, I guess I would have the Twitch recording, ultimately, which is kind of nice as a backup. All right, let's add um anything, really. Bass. Let's bass it up. This is sounding... I'm getting a kind of, like, dubby vibe, like an older school kind of, like, like really, like, kind of groovy build to it. Ooh, spacey guitar on top of that. That could be really nice. That could be really cool. Let's Let's, let's experiment with this. This is not my default patcher. Oh, because it's new version of FL. I didn't have time to uh, transfer over all of my defaults. Um, for example, I have this. I have a default Citrus that uh, I went and redid all the envelopes so that they're ready for the way that I want them to be, to be ready. Because I I waste a lot of time just like deleting envelopes to, just to get to this position. Might as well save it like that. That's kind of the beauty of templates. Chat, come back. Hey, what? Nope. Chat. There you are. Shit, and just opened up Premiere. No. Well, it's on the streaming computer, so it doesn't interrupt, interrupt anything. Ah, oh, how cool is that? How much is a replica? Don't know. Close. Did it actually close it? I think it did. Nice. All right. Face down. Put you over here. One by 30. See, so yeah, I used to do the high pass in the duck in some of my older projects, but I'm, I do high pass manually, like an individually thing, individual level now. There's really no other way to do it. New pattern, me motherfucker. Oh, we're, ah, also not the default harmer. <laughs> oh, so before I get too far, I should also default samplers so that I can turn off enable main pitch in all of these.
this is because when I put when I'm gonna put down like a beat and a rhyme rhythm and whatnot, I'm gonna want to preview it at different pitches. It's kind of like how an artist might invert um, a track or rather a track, huh, a painting they're working on to see if it kind of still scans. If you listen to it at different pitches, it helps get you out of out of like a rut you worked yourself into because you do you have to. There's no way that, no other way around it in terms of uh, composing this stuff because you listen to it too much. It's a good way to get yourself out of your own head. Look at that! Did nothing. Already side chaining. Do do I know VCV rack? Don't think so. No. Let's do it in one bar loop for a second, just so I can design a sound here. I was talking to someone about a bunch of stuff, so let's try and mess with that. I was messing with them. Um, Phaser and frequency mode. Fun fact about Prism. If you go in here and mess around with the shape, it's basically exactly like what harmonic unison pitch does, but just for the main voice, for one voice. So if you don't want to have unison, but you still want to mess around with it like you did have unison, Prism is what it's for. How's that already in rhythm? I mean, it's, I guess it's at the speed is it's hooked up to the rather it's going a lot faster now, so we're hearing it do that. But like, damn, it's already like it's already working out. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> your cat has enjoyed the stream so far. Yeah, your cat. Let's listen to the dude by itself for a second. Let's design us some sounds, huh? thought a thought and I think started there we go it's sound, sound a little too like major for me all right i kind of like what harm is doing here so i'm gonna leave that alone i want to want to do it mm. I'm, I'm, I am going to, people talk about filters and stuff in the chat, and I am going to filter this. I'm still kind of just making a texture. Cool. 
not want to have this like holy going the whole time. I don't think I want to try messing with the filters at that stage though, but I think I will create a couple up here. Mess with you, eh? Hmm. I don't know how hardcore I want to go with this exactly, because I kind of like the texture. I don't want to ruin it too hard. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up with that slightly harder high pass and use this guy to be the main mod of it. And then this dude to texturify us up. Ah, which one are you? There you are. Oops, I didn't make an animation clip of this one. Um, pretty much none of that. Although, I know I wanted, I want to keep that last bit because I think I can make that something cool, but the rest of this can go away because I think I'm going to replace that with something else entirely. Like that high one up there, this is kind of why wah 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 pedals, high pass filters, same thing. Slight differences, you know. Some of them, some people, some like there's signature high pass pedals out there, and they have like really intense EQ settings and things, and they're kind of cool. I'm thinking like a boom 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 thing after that, like wah wah wah. Let's just come up with something that can conk. A conk. Can we call that a conk? K O N K. Is that already something? That sounds like something that could be something like a donk. A conk. To this end, let's do a citrus. Ooh, no, I lied. More armor. I just had a thought. <laughs> okay. I'm going to solve this right now. We're going to go to generators. Some special delete. Default, already there. Crap, can't do that from inside Patcher. <laughs> Whoops. Um, add me up a harmer. Except I can't, because I deleted it. <laughs> Gotta go to the manager. Get me a harmer, a real one. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Or did I, was that the default? Nope. One more time. Default, default, default. Pirate, favorite, good. Solved. You don't need to be here. All right, which one are you? Are you the default? No. Whole point I did that, so I can do this, and then yay, default. No, I just delete. I deleted it from the. Uh, I deleted it from the, the favorites list. 
I had to go back into the plugin manager to get it back out because I deleted it from the favorites list. Uh, Command and Conquer. I love the shit out of CNC as a kid, let me tell you. Consummate 90s PC gamer. I already forgot what I was doing. I got the Conquer. Let's see. I guess I'm going to do that. So loud. Let's, I'm probably going to get the phaser to do most of the work on this. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I base. Kind of sounds like he's saying porn, doesn't it? Porn, 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 porn. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of like that. Though. I'm gonna do do me. Okay, all right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna save ourselves a little time here by being kind of smart. Come up here, copy state. Come up here, paste state. Just digging around with that a bit. Damn it. 
I was gonna say that couldn't possibly be how how it hurt sounded. Keep forgetting that sometimes some things don't update until I play a new note. Make 2010 dubstep. Yeah, right. And I'm I'm already I'm pretty much there. All right. So if we're gonna do this like this, then we're gonna need to get special with our external macroing here. It's because. That's not what I wanted. Just because we're gonna, I want to do stuff like uh, automate wave shapers and things like that to this uh, this macro we're making. And that's gonna be interesting. I guess I want to do that like that. Oh, wow. And okay, it's happening. It's happening. There it is. Give me tempo. Cool. Get me distortion. <laughs> to be a different different guy i'm no <laughs> yes i'll have to the processing uh two let's go back to one copy state i wish this had a keyboard shortcut probably does is that post or is that mix that's post crap someone wanted Been a lot So just for just, just make sure my rhythm here is right. Okay, lots of mixing required, but I guess we're getting to the point of what I want to do here. See, what's cool about this is if I ever want to like chop it up by getting a little faster, I can just I can just restart the note. I can do one of these. Whew, that was an unexpected result, but damn. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm, 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 I'm on board with this. Yeah, it was already, it was basically side chain anyway. Away, so. <clears throat> Why is my master patch up? So I move around my pitch just kind of to hear it better like like determine determining whether or not it might sound better in a different pitch basically like <laughs> hey you know it as it turns out you don't have to actually care that much about doing a lot of this stuff uh we do because we think we must but the most professional people are worse and lazier than i've ever been Ooh, listen to that junk. Kind of okay with that. <laughs> now we have this. Good job, seamless. I wonder if my state saved. It did. Hooray. Crisis averted.
keep hitting that thing. Oops. So the specialness about this one is going to have to be in specificness with the sub. I think I might want to make another version of this though, because I think it happens a little, like repeats itself a little too hard. Like, oh yeah, like this guy. So it switches, like those little bump, bump, kind of like switching to different ones. That could be kind of cool. I could actually, like, I think automate internally, but that might be a little more complicated than just straight up having another one. Let us, uh, where the hell is that in there? It is. Yay. All right. Oops. Kind of sounds like that that knife party unison remix sound, doesn't it? Which kick and snare am I using? I'm using uh, the Wicked Drum Hits Kick 16, and snare is a hybrid of Wicked Drum Hit 221 and 46, but most mostly it's just doing his naked. Also up here, I'm gonna... Ooh, that sudden square works out good, right? What's up, you guys in the chat that just showed up? I think I might actually switch through this a little faster than that. Like, do one of these. That's weird. Did the the loop? The loop on the reverb is is uh, not triggering properly or ending properly. Why is that? Oh, is it because I don't have continuous output out? Uh, it ends where it ends. That's oh, because I, ha I need to have. No, but that's what the sustain is supposed to do. It sustains at the end of it. Am I missing something about that? So that's continuous output. I kind of fixed it, I think. I think that's what it was. Hmm, weird. Oh, that sounds good, though. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like keep this dude. Oh, he's already doing anything. I'll, like, do one of these. It's cool. All 
All right, so that is like doom, doom, doom thing is going to be kind of like the theme, I think. To that end, I think I, I think I want to not, I don't want to like push these like jumps too much. <laughs> Unexpected badassness from I think this note playing too long. Got to keep this animation going, but I guess that. Oh, shittles. Because I did high pass all of it up there like that. Of course, we can't really count on that like bass swoop happening in there because I'm going to replace the sub, so that activity will be minimized. <clears throat> Unless we find out that it's like essential, then I'm going to have to find out a way to work that in there, which I will. Like it'll happen. Okay, so to do that though, um, put you up in here because they're all that kind of stuff. So what, the way I usually do that is I just kind of like copy it over. But like I think if I I'm, I am using a slide note, so I guess I kind of have to. So just burp. Control C, Control V. So this might be the wrong pitch for a lot of this because it's possible um, the register is wrong for what was serum, or rather citrus and what was harmer, and that kind of thing. I think I might have fixed that though in my default. I think I might have been smart and made this. How did that happen? Is that what is that is that's going on for for these guys? Whoa! <laughs> if a raid is offensive, I like how I got I just got like a Twitch warning for a raid. What's up, raids? I'm getting I got I'm getting a raid. I don't I'm not I'm not a Twitch guy. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to some beats. Look at this beat. Yep, that bass is way too high. Hear that? I'm gonna have to do like a ball, 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 ball kind of thing at the, at the bottom of that. But I'll definitely help figure it out. Like this stuff needs to be super high passed. <laughs> I'm just looking at this chat stuff. This is pretty it's pretty hardcore. Normally I could actually I would actually just show it up in here, but because it's on my other computer, I kinda can't unless I put a screen share source in there. I guess I could do that. Pretty easy enough, wouldn't it? Like that. That's what I want to do to stuff. So like here I'm just gonna do this manually like boom boom. That's why that's why I like the pitch changing because if I get bored of a particular sound a, a moment of it I can just change the pitch and I can be back to being inspired by it. Just for simplicity's sake though I am going to I guess I'll consider those those um stabby things to be kind of their own deal. Like they they could be two of them but they're the same kind of in the same pattern. It'll help me help me for that. 
See, when I do that, though, I got to remember to change. This is what I wanted that MIDI thing to really work out. Because of, uh, because that would make this party a lot easier. But the problem is that the slide note bit doesn't get, doesn't translate. So I gotta. Screwing up all my envelopes. And I forgot I'm messing with this too. This is not, is it? This is like enough to, um, <laughs> let me just check out the chat. What's going on? What? People having fun with their deal there. Um, now I'm going to start adding sort of top end stuff just so I can hear what, um, just so I can hear like what the stack's going to be like. And I really, this is usually where I do ARPs. I think I'm going to do an ARP. <laughs> Why would I do anything else? Uh, SH1 has a memory. He's in the chat. He's making points. All right. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to do an art, but I'm going to try and make it. Special. So do 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 do. go the weird evil route, right?
Look how solidly shut off it is on a low end there. Love that edit this is. All right, let's uh, continue with the third step here with that ducking business, which is uh, starting to automate the release time on the Maximus. <clears throat> Whole point of having done that is that we're going to take advantage of doing that to really, really push this a lot louder than hard we ever could have otherwise. Um, let me see quickly how I want to test this because there's some testing that has to happen first. All right. First, we have some major mixing dilemmas. Let's start to look at the point of this. Right there. See how this kick is interacting with uh, the, the threshold here? And how this is a lot tighter than, say, this is. This is still happening. This is still compression, but this is happening a lot faster because we're automating it to be that fast at that second. Uh, the value of this is that right when the kick in the snare hit is when there's really dense non-tonal information happening. So if you compress really fast, you're not, you, have to, you don't have to worry about distorting it. You kind of have to worry about distorting everything else. So that's why we're getting this to punch up when the kick and snare happen and to let everything else kind of still have a soft touch. You notice how I did almost, I did no compression on the low, mid, and high. I did all of that with just the master because everything we're doing up ahead of this is actually making it work for that. That kick is starting to have a problem though. Slightly too long in the tooth there. Well, there we go. Come on. Ah, so there's actually one more problem with the sub.
you hear that grossness in there and that motion and the motion being caused from that um that's from the automation of the volume being too fast um and that's actually really very easy because bass tones are very slow so in order to make this perfect you actually want to have a slower motion on it that's hard to do though when you're planning on it but you know what you can do besides that just put a low pass on it because all of that high fastness is still high fastness And now we're saving ourselves from all the high frequency destruction we were experiencing earlier. This worked. This worked out. This worked out pretty good. So this is actually, uh, this is a pretty good like starting place now because I have the kicks and the snares and the drums that I know how they're going to feel. And then I have the basses, so I know how they're going to feel. And even if they're not, even if they're not the sounds I'm going to live with, and especially even if like this progression isn't what I'm going to stick with, it's, it's still the template. It's like, it's actually the literal like palette by which I'm going to be using stuff with. And I have the mixing and mastering done. <laughs> Hmm. Someone in the chat asked if I had used Ozone 8 and Neutron 2 and if they're worth it because of some stuff about Splice and uh, worth it. I don't know. I don't know. I've used their software. They, they sent it to me and I took it out for a spin. It's good software. Um, I, well, now it's worth noting that uh, Ozone actually has uh, something called Intelligent Release Control called IRC. And that's basically what I'm doing here when I'm moving the release time. It's automating the release time, except their automation is done automatically. <laughs> It's a, it's a detection thing versus a, a rhythmic thing, which is what's happening when I'm doing it. Um, you can do all of this stuff with, without the things that Ozone and Neutron have, but Ozone and Neutron are designed to kind of let you have massive control over your project without really trying very hard. It's not really my style. <laughs> I like I like playing higher bass sometimes because it'll you can kind of you can feel a little higher, but I like the tone that lower stuff has. Mm. All right, um, <clears throat> we're almost done with today's session, which I want to remind you when we're done with it today. When this goes up on YouTube, you'll be able to mess with this project right now, uh, even though I'm not done with it. You can do really with whatever you want with it. I don't care. It'll be available for a pay what you want, even if what you want is nothing. Uh. I guess I can make some more variations while we're here. Can we get more high-pitched sweeps? Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any lasers in here. I don't have any pew pews or dupe dupes. I could put in some dupes. Yeah, before I break myself on the incorrect thing, let me just do that. All right, so now we're back here. Change the notes of these today. No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, let's just go down. Just do it. Why not? If in doubt, just go in a different direction. <laughs> did I miss? I did miss. I 
This time, I'm just going to sharp, sharpen these up. Bam. Bam. Actually, while I'm at it. Yeah, there it is. That's two. That's where the snare is. Okay, so that's why I can't do that there, but I can do this, I think. Neat. Uh, do I ever, do I, what, have I ever done a full song with only pews and doots? Uh, kind of? Is that what Boopa Doopa was? Right, you guys remember that? I should make, I should definitely be making drum changes. Cause like now that we have this like extensive setup with um, the side chaining and whatnot, when I change the rhythm, it'll change everything. It'll be time. It'll work out. This is a challenge too, right? Yeah. So, okay, 21 happens, then here comes two. That was an accident, but that's also some kind of thing you can do that's fun is to put that the side chaining in there without the hit, which uh, kind of makes it feel like it's supposed to happen anyway. So I could see like a, a pew going in here, right? Wow. In fact, let's do that. Let me think of it. Oh shit, you ever see this? Man, so this is here's some stuff that some students taught me. Uh it was a shift shit, what is it? Um Oh yeah, if you right click and scroll, look what the hell happens in the playlist. Holy crap. Right click, scroll. That's what that happens. And then even better, if you middle click and then right click, this pops up. Like, holy crap. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I should have been using this since the day I was born. <laughs> going on in the first place. So maybe putting this pew here will be better. <laughs> what my students taught me said all teachers ever. Hell yeah, man. There's some cool, some tricks I have that were definitely developed because of stuff students did. That's why I'm always, that's, that's one of the main reasons why I like telling people stuff because like they're going to come up with something I didn't every time. Uh, nah, nah. Oh yeah, and every channel in here is already routed to the ducking channel. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Pews. <clears throat> OK, 
kind of pews do I want to use? Stick to the armor theme. Seems to be pretty okay with that. I definitely made this like a eighth note experience. Ooh, okay. All right. That's something I haven't tried doing. Um... So I'm gonna treat this like a weird mini riser. I guess it's falling, so it's not really a riser, but. So I do that and this. Or you know, the opposite. That sounds like a, that sounds exactly like a trumpet. Like the dumbest, like, 80s keyboard synth trumpet in the universe. For sure, I want the opposite. That'd be a bit much. Just make it in there hard. I mean, I can just... Ooh. No, it has to be. All right. Uh, thought for later. Okay, but can I do... I might be able to mix that into something usable. Or just break it more. It was kind of a joke, though. Excuse me. Only don't. There is no excuse. That's my favorite response to someone when, like, we go, excuse me, I just go, there's no excuse for you. Hmm, an unchanged version. That's interesting. Yeah, why not? I actually, you know, I haven't used this kind of sound design in a song like this probably since, like, 2012. Or 13, at least. Like, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Because I haven't done it for freaking ever. Did I miss? Alright, first of all, I forgot that I... Hmm. 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 I guess it'd be faster. Oh, it's not... I'm not, I'm not doing the thing I want to do. I'm... I gotta... Because I want to do that whole fall thing, right? Like... One of these. God damn, this is awful. This is terrible shit. Ugh, okay, let's try and make this something stupid. Alright, this octave thing was obviously a bad call. I don't want to do. You, sir. I wonder. Can't even tell. 
Yeah, it's not really really worthwhile. In the meantime, though, I should probably believe... What the hell time is it? Oh my god. It's almost already. It's probably good that I leave this off here. We're apparently not doing this very well. I'm just gonna abandon this guy. This guy is obviously not working. Not working at all. Dear God. All right. Where is new plugins in FL? Says people in chat. Gotta find a different sound to put in there. Probably just make a variation on one of these again. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the whoops anymore, I guess. <clears throat> That's all. Yep, that's all for today. I guess we've been doing this for about an hour. And it, this all worked out way better than I thought it would. I thought I'd have more problems for today. But the next time I want to stream is Thursday. I am not super sure when. Today's began at 5 p.m. EST. It's probably when it's going to start again on Thursday. Um, I don't, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I want to keep this together. Like, I, I've tried this so many times and I just fall off on nothing every, every time. So, you know, let's have hope. But, you know, hmm. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. This project should be available in the, in the description of this video. If you have any, uh, please leave a comment. Bleh. I'm recording this. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And as usual, have a nice day. Gonna hit the recording button.